Imagine if Nike hit you up right now and said, hey, we'll give you $38 million to make some shoes for us. That's pretty much what these companies did. They gave out the worst shoe deals in NBA history. With Brian Reeves being a high draft pick and turning into a complete bust, this shoe deal did the same thing, ended up not working out. Brian Reeves played for the NBA from 1995 to 2001, all with the Vancouver Grizzlies. During his time, he managed to average 12 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 assist per game. These numbers were not up to par with the 6th overall pick in the draft. With his only accolade being in the 1995-96 season, all rookie, surprising to hear he even got a shoe deal. The popular film company Warner Bros was just getting into shoes. They must have felt that Brian was the perfect fit for their brand. Although he didn't get a signature shoe, he got a custom shoe made for him that he wore every game and also had the Grizzlies colors. The shoes were mainly white, but consisted of purple and Grizzlies teal. They also had a big WB for Warner's bro on the tongue. Luis Scola having a career averaging 12 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 assist per game. Surprising to know that he actually got a massive shoe deal with an unpopular brand at the time. Scola played in the NBA from 2007 until 2017. He played with 5 different teams, but most notably the Rockets. Averaging 12 points per game throughout his career, as well as having no accolades, other than the 2008 all-rookie team, wasn't enough to keep him a part of one team for too long. Although Scola wasn't a huge NBA sensation, he was an international hit. Before coming to the NBA, he won an Olympic gold medal in Argentina in 2004. Scola got the deal a year before he was even in the league, and his signature shoe has a colorway that could also match Houston's alternate jersey. The shoe features a red leather base, accented by hints of white and yellow throughout. Scola's career accomplishments appeared on a rib panel that wraps from ankle to ankle. Anta's logo was done in white leather on the lateral ankle, while China's country calling code, H610, is stitched in yellow above. When talking about his deal with Anta, Scola said, Wearing professional basketball shoes makes me feel more comfortable, unless we focus on the game and helps me win. In eight years of cooperation with Anta, Anta basketball gear has become more professional and I'm a huge fan of Anta's basketball products. With Chandler Parsons playing as a role maker off the bench for most of his career, surprising to know that he actually got his own shoe deal. Chandler Parsons has been in the league since 2011. Currently, he's playing for the Atlanta Hawks, where he averages two points and one rebound, and less than an assist per game. Back in 2014, when he announced his Anta deal, he was averaging 12 points, four rebounds, and two assists per game while on the Rockets. In an exclusive interview with Bleacher Report, Parsons expressed excitement about their new partnership, pointing out some of his personal design elements in the first signature shoe. Number 38 embroidery on the backside of the tongue serves as a reminder that 37 players were selected before him in the 2011 NBA draft. His grandfather Don is saluted with 25 perforations on the toe box, representing his old jersey number and the number Chandler's worn throughout his career. Parsons' CP25 logo is embroidered on the heel, and the shoe is all red to match the Rockets' uniforms and has one white Anta logo on it. Shortly after getting his shoe from Anta, Parsons had a left ankle injury, and he thought it might have been from his Anta shoes. One game, Chandler wore Jordan Brand shoes with the logo covered and said, I'm just trying to figure out if it was one of the shoes that I was wearing that bothered me. I just want to fix them and make them stiffer. The injury that I had, Mavs athletic trainer Casey Smith was telling me how the Antha shoes were a little too flexible in the ankle. With George Hill laying low for most of his career, surprising to hear that Hill got a shoe deal, even though it wasn't with a company familiar with the NBA. George Hill has played in the NBA since 2008, and he's managed to play on five different teams over the years. Hill's currently a backup point guard for the Milwaukee Bucks, his prime days seem to be long over. When George Hill was the best point guard the Pacers had, a shoe brand named Peak stepped into the scene and signed George to a deal. Within a year of having a deal with Peak, he got two signature shoes that matches Indiana uniform, with one being mostly white with the Peak logo, and then some black stripes, while the other one was similar but mostly yellow and had dark blue accents. When Hill was talking about his deal with Peak, he said, having something like this is amazing. I'm blessed to be able to play basketball and be able to have basketball as a job, but it's bigger than what I do on the court. It's not wholly who I am. I want to be someone who can impact lives. With Evan Turner being a solid player but by no means a superstar, it's surprising to know that Evan actually got his own shoe deal. Evan Turner has been in the league since 2010, and he's currently playing on his fifth team in 10 years. Before being able to really prove himself in the league, basketball shoe brand Li Nang signed Evan to a deal in hopes that he would work out in the NBA. After signing Evan Turner to Li Ning, the brand's director of basketball said, this is truly a game-changing moment for the Li Ning brand. Adding a supreme young talent like Evan Turner sends a message to the global basketball community that Li Ning basketball is committed to being a player on the global stage. We're thrilled to have another star representing Li Ning to compete and be relevant as a performance sports brand. You need representation of some of the world's best, and we know we're getting that in Evan Turner. Evan followed his comments by saying, it's great to have the support of a company that's as eager as I am to perform at the highest level possible. I'm excited to be a part of a growing brand and to blaze a new path for the future young ball players everywhere to follow. With Matt Bonner, known strictly as the Spurs main shooter during his time in San Antonio, his performance must have been good enough to sign a shoe deal with a popular company. Matt started his career in Toronto in 2004 before making his way to San Antonio, where he won two championships and finished his career in 2006. 
Over the course of his career, he averaged five points and three rebounds and less than assists per game, which makes it hard to believe that he got a deal with Adidas. Before getting an Adidas deal, he always wore New Balance, and he said he often got slander from players and fans. Bonner even said, it was definitely wearing New Balances. I mean, I think I was the only person at that point in the whole NBA wearing the brand. And again, it's not like I was getting paid. So I was a bit befuddled as to why they couldn't keep me on. I mean, I took a lot of flack for wearing them. I got heckled quite a bit. Things like, hey Bonner, nice New Balances. Nothing really that clever. 99.99% .99 of hecklers are not that clever. After realizing that New Balance wasn't his shoe of choice, he tweeted saying, at New Balance, at Adidas, at Peak Sports, I'm ready to sign the first ever shoe deal via Twitter. Any takers? After Adidas got their eye on Bonner, Bonner said, pretty soon after that, Adidas came into the picture, sending me a bunch of shoes to try on. I found a few pairs that were pretty comfortable, so I worked out a deal with them. I pretty much started wearing them right away. With Carlos Boozer being a popular player in the Bulls franchise, this publicity landed them a deal with the biggest brand of sports. Carlos played 13 years in the NBA, starting with his time in Cleveland during 2002, and played with the Jazz and Bulls before finishing his career with the Lakers in 2015. During the 2011 season, when Boozer was on the Bulls, Nike contacted him and offered to sign him to a deal in order for him to try out the new concrete shoes. Nike's founder Phil Knight said, It's hard to believe a guy that tall frequently plays below the rim. We plan to market these exclusively to people needing to anchor statues. But Carlos is a perfect fit for us because he's pretty much playing like a statue in the postseason anyway. Carlos also spoke about the deal saying, After my performance in game one against the Hawks, I got a call from Nike. They had a perfect product for me. They're surprised to learn I wasn't already wearing concrete shoes. With Eddie Curry being considered one of the biggest busts in NBA history, landing a shoe deal with Nike shocked the league. Eddie Curry played in the NBA from 2001 when he was on the Bulls to finishing his career in 2013 with the Mavericks. Eddie played for the Bulls, Knicks, Heat, and finally the Mavericks before retiring. With Eddie wearing close to size 20, no shoes he was able to buy fit his size, so him signing with Nike meant they could make him a shoe that fit. Eddie even talked about this and said, for the past six years or so, they started making bigger sizes for quick strikes that I could track down. When I was in New York, I met Mike Packer and also some guys from Fight Club, and they were always letting me know when things come out that are in my size. Also, I have a lot of friends that are willing to stand in the lines and help me out. It's definitely something I'm very passionate about. With Kwame Brown going down as the biggest bust in NBA history, it's crazy to think that he signed a deal with a popular basketball brand. Kwame Brown played in the NBA from 2001 when he was drafted with the first pick of the 2001 draft by the Wizards. Over the course of his career, he played with the Wizards, Lakers, Grizzlies, Pistons, Hornets, Warriors, and the 76ers before retiring in 2013. And with Kwame having a career average of 6 points, 5 rebounds, and less than 1 assist per game, it kind of explains why he's the biggest bust in NBA history. But it doesn't explain how he got a massive deal with Adidas. Adidas approached Kwame and signed him to the team, which resulted in Adidas executive board director Eric Stamming are saying, we're extremely pleased to welcome Kwame to the Adidas family. He joins a great stable of Adidas athletes in the NBA, which underlines our commitment to the US market and the basketball category. Ras McMullen, who's the president of Adidas, even spoke about it saying, we feel this partnership will strengthen our position in basketball and help both Adidas and Kwame take our respective games to the next level. With Jimmer Fredette being a college sensation, his hopes for the NBA were large, but after a disappointing NBA career, he found himself in the Euro League. Jimmer played in the NBA since being drafted by the Kings in 2011. Since then, he's played for the Bulls, Pelicans, Knicks, and Suns and recently made the switch to the Euro League. Spalding, which is the most popular brand for basketballs, got themselves into the shoe business when they signed Jimmer for debt to their team. The shoes that Jimmer and other athletes wore were called the Threats, and they featured a breathable, seamless, synthetic, and mesh upper. It seems Spalding has followed in the footsteps of their competition, aiming to create a sneaker that will perform among the rest of the league's top shoes. The midsole includes EVA technology and D30 cushioning, as well as a midfoot shank and a rubber outsole designed to be especially durable. The Threats available in five different colorways, black-based uppers with silver, navy, royal, and yellow accents, respectively. Also included in their release are signature colorways for guard Jimmy Fredette of the Sacramento Kings, decked out in purple and black. When talking about getting a shoe deal with Spalding, Jimmer said, I'm grateful for the opportunity, and I realize that. I'm not going to take anything for granted. Going out there and play hard every day, practice hard, and just help our team as much as I possibly can. I'm just excited. With Matthew Dellavedova going from someone people didn't hear about to winning a championship alongside LeBron James, his stock began to rise during his days with the Cavaliers. That's why he got a shoe deal. Dellavedova began his career at the Cavs in 2013, and since then he played for the Bucks before returning to the Cavaliers. Over the course of Delhi's career, he averages 5 points, 1 rebound, and 3 assists per game, which is shocking when you hear that he got a shoe deal with a signature shoe. The Chinese company Peak signed Delhi Vidova to a deal, and even worked out a signature shoe that's called the Delhi One, and they're for sale for $120. After proving his worth in the NBA Finals alongside LeBron James, Delhi signed a 4-year, $38 million deal with the Milwaukee Bucks, which eventually led to him getting a shoe deal. Delhi Vidova talked about his deal with Peak, saying, Peak Australia approached me nearly 2 years ago with the idea of introducing a basketball shoe in the Australian market. From there, talks became more serious in the past year. Peak worked hard in developing a shoe that offers the type of reliability and performance that drives me every day. 
Peak's managing director, Greg Bickley, even talked about the deal saying, Matthew offers the type of characteristics that we want people to associate with our brand. He's already a fantastic role model for the basketball community in Australia. And it's our hopes that through this global partnership with Peak, Matthew will become a household name through the 70 plus countries that Peak is located in. And on top of having his own signature shoe, Deli's also got some signature shirts with the company and a backpack. Not only there's been anyone else in this video that has their own signature backpack. And yo, dog, if you don't click on this video on the screen right now, bro, I'm gonna pull up and slap you with the Deli ones right across your forehead, bro. You ever been slapped with a Deli one before? You probably never even seen the Deli ones, but just know it's gonna hurt if you get slapped in the face with a Deli one, all right? I'm about to start rocking the Delis. That sounds fire. Hey, yo, bro, what shoes that? Oh, it's the Deli ones. Just, just, just click on this video.